Thank God you've got air conditioning here. But if you let the back door open, the heat goes in. Let's close it. Don't bother. I've already tried to close it, but it's impossible. Why? Some days ago it was cold and we were here with the door closed. Whenever it's hot, something happens to that door and I can't close it. It's made of metal. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe. It's weird. Yes. What's strange is that it only happens when it's very hot. Perhaps it's got something to do with what we've learned at the laboratory. Today we're going to talk about temperature and heat. Although we think they're synonyms, because they're related, they're quite different indeed. The heat is energy that is transferred from one body to another. When this happens, the temperature can go up or down. Let's think what happens when you put a saucepan with water over the fire. What is transferred from the fire to the water is not the temperature, but the heat, and this heat causes the water temperature to go up. We can prove this placing a thermometer into the water. Now we'll conduct an experiment. For this, we need a very thin glass tube called capillary tube. Two bowls containing a water at different temperatures and some modeling clay. First, we must submerge a portion of the capillary tube into the water and try to keep a small drop of water inside it, as close to the center as possible, so that the drop of water is kept between two spaces of air. Then we'll place the modeling clay very carefully in one of the ends of the capillary tube so that it is sealed. By doing this, we'll leave a space of air and then the drop of water. Next, we'll submerge the capillary tube by the sealed end in different pots full of water and observe the result. Of course, and as the gas expanded, it made the drop move to the other end. Conversely, when we submerge the capillary tube into cold water, the gas formed by air contracted and made the drop get closer to the end where the modeling clay was. We've just made a homemade thermometer with this experiment. A thermometer? That's right. Common thermometers are calibrated devices which contain mercury inside. And as it's a metal, it's a very good heat conductor. When this metal is in contact with a cold body, it contracts. And it expands in contact with a body at a higher temperature. So, by expanding or contracting the mercury points out room temperature. Well... Apart from water, which is a special case, do other materials expand if their temperature goes up? Yes! Now I can understand why the back garden door cannot be closed in hot days. Why? Because the metal of the door expands. Then it cannot be properly closed. Oh, very good! You're right! In winter days, when the temperature is low, the opposite takes place. Sure, metal contracts and there's no problem. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!